Hello guys and welcome back to Sigma Beauty's YouTube channel. I am so excited to be hanging out with you guys for today's video. My name is Jaden and I am one of our makeup specialists here at Sigma and because it is the holidays and because we just did a new launch with Disney, we have our Disney Beauty and the Beast collection that just launched a few weeks ago and we're absolutely in love with it. I thought it would be fun to take a little gander down at memory lane and do a little battle of the Disney palettes with our other two Disney collections that we have done. So if you want to see a little battle of the eyeshadow looks with two of our favorite Disney collections, then stay tuned and let's get into this video. So first up, because I talked about our Disney Beauty and the Beast collection, I want to give a quick little look at it. So if you are interested, you can shop this right now on our website, as well as in the description box below. We all have everything easily linked for you guys. But this is our most recent collab with Disney. It is the Disney Beauty and the Beast collection. You get this if you buy the full collection, that is. I'm just showing you guys everything from the collection. If you do buy the full collection, it all includes this beautiful bag. We absolutely love the blue glitter of it. We have the nice cute logo here that says Disney Beauty and the Beast. And on this side, you have the Sigma logo. And this collection comes with the full 14 shade palette. It is absolutely beautiful. The color story has a nice variety of both colors and neutrals. So it really does give you the best of both worlds. And then we also have the lip trio. I absolutely love the three lips in this. These lip creams also double as a liquid cheek kind of like blush option. I use these for my blushes all the time and I absolutely love it. And then we also actually have the cheek palette which comes with two different shades of blushes and a beautiful highlighter option. These layered on top of the lip creams on your cheeks literally is the most beautiful combination. And then if you don't want the full 14 shade eyeshadow palette, in this collection we actually did offer a seven shade palette which just has seven of the most popular colors from that 14 shade, just a little bit of a travel size option. And then finally, we have the brushes as well, where you get five of our best selling brushes. Absolutely beautiful. It just gives you everything you need to do to do both a face and an eye look. So that is our most recent collection, which is the Beauty and the Beast, like I said. But today, I want to take you down memory lane, and I want to show you guys two of our first collections with Disney, which are the Alice in Wonderland collection and the Cinderella collection. And I thought it would be so fun to kind of do a battle of the palettes. So on my right side of my face, I'm going to be using the Alice in Wonderland collection. And on the left side of my face, I'm going to be using the Cinderella collection. So we're going to do a little bit of fun looks with both of these and I would love to hear which, got, which look that you guys like best. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna use the Cinderella F80 Flat Kabuki brush. We do include different brushes in each of these sets. So this is my favorite foundation brush that we have. So I'm gonna use this today for foundation. We have this obviously as a regular brush as well. This is probably one of our best selling brushes. It just applies your foundation unlike any other brush that you will ever use. And I do not say that like as an exaggeration whatsoever. We are getting constant compliments on this brush. It applies everything so smoothly and just really, really makes it look like you have just natural skin, that you're not wearing foundation. And it works well with any type of foundation as well. So whether you're doing a full coverage look or something a little bit more light and natural, this brush really just does it all, which is great. I would love to know what your guys' favorite Disney movie was growing up and maybe what your favorite Disney movie is right now. I'm a Disney adult. I love Disney. I actually got in engaged at Disney World. I am a Disney adult, so I absolutely love, love, love Disney. I think currently, if you were to ask me what my favorite Disney like movie is, I would probably say Moana. I literally love Moana. I have the soundtrack on my phone. I listen to it just casually in the car some days. But if I had to pick like my favorite Disney princess movie, I think, I think I would go with Rapunzel and Tangled. I know that's still kind of newer, but I love that. And if I had to pick a classic Disney movie, I would go with Beauty and the Beast probably. 
Now that we have our concealer and our foundation on, I'm going in again with the Cinderella palette and I'm going in with the F10 powder blush brush. It's just a nice, fluffy, good brush. And I'm going to set my under eye and anywhere that I normally get oily. If you do have dry skin, you're more than welcome to skip this part. I would suggest setting your under eye at least, just because that does tend to crease throughout the day, whether you're dry or oily. But that's completely up to you. I have oily skin, so I kind of just dab her a little bit of everywhere to make sure everything stays in place and is not moving throughout the day. And then to do my bronzer today, I'm going in with our matte bronzer in shade medium, and I'm using the Alice in Wonderland brush. This is the F53 Air. It's a contour blush brush, so it kind of has a dual purpose. I'm gonna dip that into my bronzer and just really start adding some warmth back to the face. This F53 Air is so great for so many different products. I also feel like it works really great with both liquid and powder products, which is awesome too, because it just, it's very multifunctional. So if you're looking for something for a face brush that does a little bit of everything, this is a really, really great brush. Okay, and then for blush today, I'm actually, I've never done this specifically, but I do like a combo of this normally on the day-to-day. -day. I'm going in with the Alice in Wonderland Lip Cream in this kind of beautiful berry shade. Um, this is the Lip Cream in Kiss the Tulips, and I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna go in with the Alice and Wonderland brush. This is the F47 Multitasker brush. Again, this is one of my favorite brushes that I own. And I'm just going to dip into that lip cream and warm it up on the back of my hand. And then just lightly go in and start adding that to the cheek. It's just giving a really light flush of color. I normally do this with the Beauty and the Beast lip creams. Those are a different formula and they are a little bit more pigmented, but honestly, I really like this kind of glossy look that it's giving me right now. It's very natural, it's very beautiful, and I am going to lay um, layer a blush on top of it, so totally fine that it is a little bit more natural. But if you want like a glossy finish, which I feel like is very trendy and all the rage right now, I would suggest using a liquid blush or a lip cream like I'm doing. Um, something that has a little bit more of a creamy consistency versus a powder consistency, that's gonna give you that glow that you're looking for. Okay, now that we have that, I'm actually gonna take my Sigma Switch. This removes product, so you can reuse brushes, and I'm just gonna remove the product from the bronzer that I use on this F53 Air, because I wanna use this for my powder blush as well. So we're just gonna remove that product. It comes off super quick, which is so nice. Nice and clean now. And I'm going to actually do two different shades of blushes just so you guys can see both. It's the battle of the Disney palette, so we have to. So we are going to go in with the Alice palettes first. And I'm going to actually dip into both shades and do a little bit of a mixture. So I'm dipping into Tickled Pink and then I'm gonna dip into Paint the Roses, just go back and forth, tap off the excess, and just nicely apply that. Mm, I love this blush combo so much. Again, this is what I wear on the daily, so I am a little bit biased with it, but I just think it is the most beautiful blush combo there ever was. Mm -mm -mm, I love it. Again, Sigma Switch, just gonna remove that pigment to make sure that we don't mix the different shades as we go into the Cinderella palette. And now I'm gonna do the same exact thing, just so we're not biased, but with the Cinderella palette. So we're dipping into a glow, and then we're dipping into Ever After. These ones lean much more on the brighter side and the peachy side, where I would say the Alice palette leans more on like the pinky moody side of things. Before we get started on the eyes, I am going to quickly just set my brows with the Tint and Tame Brow Gel in shade medium. I love this brow gel. It really helps things just stay in place. And it's great if you want more of a natural, just fluffy brow look. Now let's prime the eyes to make sure these looks stay all day. I don't even, what? You guys, I don't even know where that just fell. I'm using the eyeshadow base primer in shade Persuade. Now let's do the fun part, the eye looks. I think I'm gonna do Alice first. 
I'm gonna play with these like blues over here. I think that's gonna be so fun. So the first shade I'm going to dip into is this kind of bluey green color, which is Mad Hatter. And we are going to dip in with the E45 Max. This is the small tapered blending brush. And we are just going to start slowly applying that all over the upper crease and just get a nice basis to work with before we start going in with those deeper shades. Okay, next shade I'm gonna go in with is right next to it. It is this kind of deep blue color, which is shade Caterpillar. And I'm going to go in with, this is the brush that actually comes in the set. It's a dual ended brush. I'm gonna go in with a fluffier side. It is the E38 diffused crease brush. It's one of my favorite brushes that Sigma makes actually. It just is so easy to work with. Gonna tap off that excess and I'm just gonna go right below that shade we just started, kind of like directly into the crease and really lightly add that in and start blending it out. It's just gonna give a little bit more of a deeper look to what we just did with that first shade and we're gonna blend, blend, blend. Back in with that first brush and just a teeny tiny bit of product. Now I'm gonna buff out that very top again, just to make sure we have no harsh lines between those two shades. Okay, and then to deepen up the outer corner, we're going in with this deep blue shade. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but I'm okay with that. Um, it is shade Lost, and we're actually gonna go in with the other side of the dual ended brush. This is the um, E54 Medium Sweeper Brush, and I'm just gonna dip into that shade, tap off the excess, and we're going in and doing the outer corner. Flipping it over, no additional product, and using that E38, and starting to blend that in now. Well, we are actually going to go in with my favorite shade of the palette, which is this kind of white color in the inner corner. It does have like an iridescent shimmer to it. It is shade White Rabbit. And we are going in with the E27 Detailed Blending Brush. And we are just going to apply that all over the inner lid. This shade is literally stunning. I'm gonna bring that into the inner corner as well. And a little on the brow bone. I'm gonna go in with a makeup wipe and I'm going to just like go in a straight line, like carve out that edge and then we'll touch it up with a little concealer where we took the makeup off. But I want this to be a little bit more of a harsher edge. I don't love that it's just like kind of falling down on the side here. Let's dive into the lower lash line really quick. So we're gonna go in with the um, E30 pencil brush from the Alice palette, and I'm gonna go in with that, you know, I think I'm actually gonna go in with this chocolate brown color. So we're gonna start out and just go right along the lash line. Then going in with the E54 medium sweeper side of the brush, we're going into that blue shade, which was Caterpillar here, and we're gonna diffuse that out. Just a little bit of product. Ooh, we are feeling good, guys. At the Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland side done. That's kind of a mouthful, um, but I'm loving it. It's very blue inspired. Not something I normally do, but I am feeling it. So now let's dive in to the Cinderella side. This is the palette again, and I think I'm gonna go purple. So I think I'm gonna go like, oopsies, these shades over here um, and just, switch things up a little bit and do purple on the other side. To start, I'm gonna go in with this shade up here, which is Kindness, and I am going to use the E40 Tapered Blending Brush from the Cinderella Brush Set. And we are going to, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm not gonna do the exact same technique that I just did on this eye, just so we kind of mix it up. I'm gonna go more for like a halo eye effect on this one. So we're gonna start out in the outer corner and apply that product. And again, I'm just using a little bit at a time. I'm going to sweep it up on the upper crease and blend back and forth in windshield wiper motions. Having a tiny bit more product and I'm going to go in on the inner corner and do a very small kind of like tapping motion to get that product placed in the inner corner. And as you can see, we have just like the center of the eyelid 
open and that's where we'll get the kind of halo effect with this look. Right, and then using the dual ended brush from the Cinderella palette, all of our palettes come with a dual ended brush with two of our breath, best brushes in there. So this is the E54 Medium Sweeper, same exact from the other palette. We're gonna dip into a little bit of the darker purple shade. This is right here in the palette. It is Stroke of Midnight. We're going to dip into that and we're going to just deepen up the exact areas that we just worked in. And then for the like very center of it, we have a couple of shades we could do, but <laughs> I just read the shade. I forgot this is what it's called. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this iridescent um, purple shade, which is Bippity Boppity Boo. <laughs> I forgot how cute that is. That is so fun. And we're going to go in with the E55 shader brush. It is kind of like a smaller version of that one that we just used. And I'm going to dip into that and we're going to go in and tap that in to the center part of the eye where we have no shadow right now. I, I need a little something more though, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this kind of plain iridescent shade. It's called um, One of a Kind, and we're gonna go in with the E30 pencil brush, and we're gonna put that just very specifically right above where the pupil would be to really highlight the eyes. For the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm gonna go in with this corner shade, which is shade Wishful. It's a really pretty white color. Highlight the inner corner there and the brow bone a little. And I'm gonna go in with that dark purple shade again, that stroke of midnight in the bottom corner there. And we are going to go on the lower lash line and apply that to smoke it out a little. Then using the E38 again, we're going to dip into the first shade we used, which was Kindness, and just buff that out. And to make sure we have that nice sharp line again, taking that makeup wipe, and we are going to carve out that line. And then to make sure that we don't have anything like harsh lines showing or anything, I'm actually gonna go in with my Spectrum Color Correcting Duo and that first concealer brush we used. And I'm just going to lightly tap that into where we just took that product off to make sure that we don't have any awkward lines. All right, and now we have the Cinderella side done. So let's top both looks off with a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line. I do have lash extensions, so I don't wear top mascara, but if you'd like to pop on some false lashes or just some regular mascara, do that now. All right, and then to top the look off, because I only have the Alice in Wonderland one, we're just gonna use a little bit of the lip cream first layer some of the gloss just a tittle bit on top alrighty guys which side do you like better I thought for sure I was gonna love this purple side with the Cinderella palette I thought that eye look was gonna speak to me so much more because I'm not normally a blue person but I am digging this blue side from the Alice palette I don't know it's just it's super fun and I really like how it turned out, but honestly, both are so beautiful. I would love to hear your thoughts on which you like more. And if you recreate either of these looks, I would love for you to tag us on social media. Just tag Sigma Beauty so we can check it out and show you some love as well. But this is both looks. What do you think? Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.